Hi, this is Tim of InternetMacMarketing.com, and I'm going to be turning on and setting up the iPad Air for the first time on the first day of its release, November 1st, 2013. Now here's the iPad Air just fresh out of the box. You can see my iPad iPad unboxing video if you want to see me actually removing it. Here are the two volume switches and the rocker switch there on the side. Uh, it's a little blurry, can't quite get that focused in right now. There's the on-off switch there, power switch. And of course you have your home button at the bottom there. Here we go, turn it on with the power switch and it um, cycles through saying hello in, in various different languages here. I'm not even going to try to guess what languages these are. Italian maybe? Mm. That one I give up on. Korean? Alright, Chinese or... Chinese, yeah. Alright. So there's the um, opening screen. Oop, the... Uh, screen went out there. I waited too long. Everything turns very dark when the screen comes on or seems to. Now you slide the uh, slider switch and you get your uh, various languages selection there. Then you get to, then you choose your country or region. You choose your Wi-Fi network, assuming you have one. Now here are the various Wi-Fi networks. It's picking up in my particular neighborhood here. Now Frontier, that's the one I have. Let me get that one. Now, once my password here, so I'm going to look that up here, and then I'm going to get right back to you. Just one moment. Okay, so we got the password entered in here. So now we're on location services. It says, what are location services? I'm going to choose uh, enable location services here. Set up your iPad. I'm going to choose set up as a new iPad. You can use iCloud, backup iTunes, what have you. Now it wants my Apple ID here. What is an Apple ID? Sign in with your Apple ID here. So let me look that up one moment here. Okay, so you sign up with your Apple ID and you're taken to the terms and conditions screen, which is various, pretty much standard legalese for Apple. So I'm going to uh, choose I agree to the terms and conditions. It says it may take a few minutes to set up your Apple ID here. I've had my Apple ID for some years now. So it should have no problem with that. Here we go. Now, it takes me to the iCloud screen. What is iCloud? iCloud lets you access your music, photos, contacts, calendars, and more. So I'm going to tap that, create a passcode. I'm going to enter that in. Now, here we go to uh, Siri. Ask you if you want to use Siri, don't use Siri. And what is Siri? I'm going to choose use Siri, of course. And when we get to uh, diagnostics, that's just a, a screen as to whether you want to send uh, diagnostic information to Apple. I have no problem with that. So I clicked OK. Register with Apple. This is a chance to register your iPad. This is a little on-off switch here, I guess. So I'm going to tap Next here. And it's registering it. Here we go. Welcome to iPad. Get started. And once you do that, here you go into your uh, apps, your main home screen here. I want to tap newsstand. Let's see what's uh, let's see what's happening in the newsstand. Well, nothing right now since I haven't purchased anything. But let's tap on the store icon here. And uh, whoa! What came up here? Oh. Apple Apps. Yeah, I, I didn't think it was... I, I had read that it doesn't automatically offer to download the apps, but here we go to the download screen. Automatically offering to download my apps. I'm going to tap Download All for Pages, Keynote, iMovie, iBooks, Podcasts, Numbers, iPhoto, GarageBand, iTunes U. And that was Tim at InternetMarketing.com, your guide to marketing on the Mac.